parents leave newborn alone with dogs, and things don't go as planned. <laughs> Many of us think of dogs as part of our family. So why wouldn't we be comfortable leaving our children with them? Well, the following photos and the story show some dogs may not want to be their new baby's sibling. I don't know, Kevin. This new pillow you brought me is fine, but you could have done better. It's not as soft as my last one, and it moves. This is ridiculous, Sandra. It's bad enough you make me do this every year, now you're putting your kid through it? Look at his face. He's already wanting to go back to the hospital. Yeah, this is nice. I'm glad you brought me a new best friend. Can we stay like this forever? Don't worry, Larry. I got this. I'll guard your human pup day and night. Nothing slips past me. Look, I'm not happy you didn't tell me you were bringing two human pups home, but at least we all fit on the couch together. Otherwise, there'd be hell to pay. This creature you brought me is so funny, Mommy. Look at the flaps on its face. And the noises it makes when it sleeps crack me up. Mommy, Mommy, what's going on? Don't leave me alone with this beast with bad breath. What if he wants to eat me? Why are you putting this in front of me? It's too big for me to eat and it's not soft and chewy like the toys I like. Why are you wasting my time, Louise? It doesn't smell like the food I like, but I'll give it a try. Hmm. No, I don't like it. Too soapy. Better get one that tastes like bacon next time. What is this sorcery? What is this creature that you brought me that is so warm and nice smelling that it puts me right to sleep? Oh my God, there's a new pup in the house. What am I gonna do? What is my role in the family now? I feel so lost. This is not what I signed up for, Diane. You said she'd be my new best friend. She treats me like a toy. Is it okay if I put my head like this? Oh my God, it's so fragile. W what if I break it? I am so not ready for all this responsibility. I'm not gonna fall for that trick again, kid. No, my mom's not calling me. There's nobody even on the line. Oh my God. I'm not the smallest creature in the house anymore? Will they stop thinking I'm the cutest? What if I never get belly rubs again? But what are you what are you doing, kid? No, don't put your hands on me like that. You're scaring me. Hey, don't don't pinch me. Has nobody taught you any manners? I don't get what the big deal is. All this thing does is sleep all day. I do that too. Why did you have to go and get another one? Are you sure it's a good idea to leave it on the bed like that? It hasn't even been house-trained. Don't come looking at me when it makes a mess. 
Wake up, little sister. It's time to go play. Wanna sniff my butt? No? That's okay. I already sniffed yours plenty of times. Man, my parents are so boring and lame. Tell me about it. I've had to live with them for five years. All they do is stare at this big black box and they never let me chase the evil squirrels that stalk our house. No, I don't like it. It looks too small and fragile. How am I supposed to wrestle this thing? I told you get a pug. Go on, take this thing back to the store. I don't know about this, Marion. Your human pup looks really grabby and rude. What if it doesn't respect my personal space? I can't afford to lose another eye. Uh-oh. I think your pup's just gone potty. I told you you should have house trained it before bringing it home. But you never listen to me, do you, Lisa? What the heck, Mommy? Your stinky creature over here thinks I'm his pillow or something. How rude, get him off me. Don't worry about it, Steve. I'm just waiting for your pup to wake up. Yeah, we're gonna go chase squirrels in a bit. What? What do you mean I can't take it outside? Trust me, Alan, Buster and I got this. We won't take our eyes off your little pup. Why are you taking turns keeping watch? Are you my mommy? I like you, but you don't look like my mommy. You're hairier than I remember.